everyone, I am Kelly Schaffner. I have two empty, the big Ikea zip bags. I am going to fill these up and I am going to the buy, sell, trade store. So I wanted to share with you what I am taking to the buy, sell, trade store. I don't know how many items I have here. I'll let you know at the end of the video. I will give you all of the details, but as we move through this video, I will share with you what the buy, sell, trade store accepted. Before I get into this, I if you're new here, guys, I want to welcome you. I'm Kelly Schaffner. I resell women's pre-loved shoes and clothing on the internet, and that is how I make my living. I get a lot of inventory. I source at the Goodwill Outlet bins where you pay by the pound. I also receive a lot of donations, and I recently received, it wasn't a donation. My father-in-law found a great big lot of clothing at a garage sale and he purchased it for me. I bought that from him. There was almost 400 pieces of clothing and I didn't want to sell all 400 pieces. And the reason is there's categories I just don't enjoy selling in like men's and children's wear. I don't, uh, I haven't taken the time to learn about men's and children's wear and I have my hands full with women's right now so I just stick to women's fashion. I also don't sell a lot of the lower end mall brands just because with the time involved, it just doesn't make sense for me. But what I do with those items is I try to sell them to the buy, sell, trade store. What the buy, sell, trade store does not take, I do end up sending to Thread Up and have Thread Up sell for me. Now, that has changed a little bit because Thread Up is no longer accepting a lot of the lower end mall brands. So, fingers crossed that the buy, sell, trade store will take some of these items off my hands. At the conclusion, Conclusion of this video, you will see how much I ended up making, how many items the buy, sell, trade store took for me. We'll see how this day plays out, but I do want to share with you all of the items. I have laundry baskets and I am going to fill two Ikea bags. My buy, sell, trade store, the one I use, does not uh, have a limit on how much I can take in. So I try to take in two gigantic Ikea bags every time I go just because... It is a drive. I do have to drive about 45 miles to go to the buy, sell, trade store. So let's get into this. I want to share with you some of the items that the buy, sell, trade store rejected that they didn't take the last time and I am going to try them again. This is just a t-shirt that says Hollywood. Next up is a Victoria's Secret pink tank top with a halter neckline. This one is a size small. They normally take all of my Victoria's Secret, so I was surprised by that. This is active wear, this is Old Navy active, and uh, these are in really nice shape. I was surprised they didn't take them, so I will try these again. Thread up will not take Old Navy any longer. These are another pair of leggings, and the brand on these are Adidas and they are a size small Adidas. Do you guys need to see the tags on all of these? If it's an unusual tag, I will share it with you. Next up is a little cropped t-shirt with flowers all over it, a graphic crop. That's kind of a no-name too. That uh, Next is a sports bra. I think this is, is this dance skin, guys? I don't know who that brand is, but there is no size on that. So I wasn't really surprised that they didn't take it, but I thought it was worth a shot. This is a cropped hoodie with a little applique detail. This one is by Forever 21. It is missing the drawstring in the hood. Okay, these next couple pieces, I uh, I tried, these are motocross. This is actually padded there. This is a men's size small, really colorful, O'Neill top. I don't even know. It's a motocross. eBay may be the best place to sell these. The next one, it's like the same type of shirt. This one says Thor and this one is a size large. Same type of shirt in like new condition. Size large. This is what the back of the Thor shirt looks like. Come on, take this from me. Those shirts are so nice. I hate to donate them, but I am working on moving inventory. This one is Old Navy, size large, a little cropped denim jacket. I tried that and I think maybe this is better suited for fall 
or maybe they just don't want my jacket. I'm taking some shorts and this came in a recent thread up box. I'm gonna show you the label right there, Element. I, the size is so faded on these, but when I did discover the size, these are a size 11, which is a junior size. I stay away from selling junior sizes, so I'm going to give those a try. Next up, these are like new guys. This is a pair of silky shorts by the brand Express. They are kind of a small size, I believe. They are a size six. I have not had a lot of luck with buy, sell, trade taking shorts that are not denim shorts, but that won't stop me from trying. This is a brand new with tags, Japna, size small. Japna is sold at TJ Maxx, Marshall, Ross. So these were not expensive to begin with, but they're in beautiful shape. Next up is a mini skirt. This is an asymmetrical mini skirt by the brand Cotton on. It is a size four, so little small. I have difficulty moving the smaller sizes. Next up is a pair of J brand white skinny jeans. They look like this. This is an older tag J brand, but I've seen this older tag at the buy sell trade store. They're skinny and the buy sell trade store has not been accepting skinny jeans for me, but that won't stop me guys. I am going to try and see if I can move some of these J brand denim these are slow slow movers for me online so i need to get these out of my inventory another pair of j brand guys these are these have kind of a cool wash they are not a printed denim but the wash is a little bit different these are a straight leg so hopefully they will want these the tag on those is a little bit more current are you j brand as well another pair of j brand and these i think are called the sailor i don't know i don't remember guys it has been a while since i sourced these i did source these a while back i have pulled those to take to the buy sell trade store because they are not selling this is another new to me brand that i just received in a thread up box i don't remember the name of it this is raven denim and these are a boot cut or a straight leg and i'm going to give them a try i'm doing that because i am not familiar with the brand i have no idea how quickly it moves and i am cleaning out inventory all right <laughs> these are a garage sale find from my father-in-law, pretty funky, right? They're called American Bozzy Los, Los Angeles. These are yellow, black, and gray jogger camouflage. We'll see if they want these. They do tend to like funky. Do they take them? You guys know before I know. Next up is a pair of men's Lucky Brand denim. These are just a relaxed fit Lucky Brand. They're a size 30. Uh, inseam so a little bit short I think but a relaxed fit I've had friends tell me that the lucky brand men's jeans move very quickly but I get no joy from listing men's items and this is also men's Levi's and I think when my father-in-law told me that this lot had Levi's in them there was only two pairs of Levi's and this is one of them. These are the 569, uh, 31, 32. That is the loose straight. They are worn but they're in pretty good condition so I hope they want them. They usually take most of the men's items but I honestly have not even taken the time to go through the men's section to see what it is that they're accepting for men's. I really need to do that. That will help me when I am sourcing and packing these bags. I've moved on to laundry basket number two and my first Ikea bag is not even full. So that is good news. This is body glove. This is uh, men's swim trunks. They're in good shape. I have not had much luck with the buy sell trade store taking the men's swim from me but i i'm gonna try it anyway next up i don't, don't even remember guys i have been packing these laundry baskets for a while this one is a hurley t-shirt it, it's in a pretty good size a size large hurley and i'm guessing that this is new but i did wash it so i didn't notice that barb and i'm going to cut that off right now maybe you can help me with 
this uh, brand. I have no idea where it sold. The brand is Glacier. It's a 2XL. Feels really nice. I think this is like a workout shirt for a man, but I don't know. Is this sold at Sam's Club or Costco, guys? Or is this, a, it feels like a nice quality shirt. This one also came from the garage sale and this is the exact same shirt. It is kind of a heathered green glacier. I think this one is also a double X. So I'm going to give those a try. Next we have a green t-shirt. I can't remember what it is. Oh, Fila. Fila. I do remember this one and it's a good size as well. This is Fila extra large. Like, I don't know about this. I meant to look it up. Um, for hunted 400 i'll come in close so you can see that and this is what the back looks like i don't guys i i don't know i'm not going to sell this this is a men's and i think it's a size large extra large this is a men's extra large okay another black t-shirt this one is a graphic tee unicorn security maybe somebody needs that in their life and these are 32 degrees heat, and these are a size extra large. They're in really nice condition, so we'll try those. And this is the other pair of Levi's. I cannot even read the tag on it, but these are the flap pocket Levi's. This is a super old tag, too. Um, looks like that but they are flawed. These do have some distressing from age, not from anything else. I do not want to sell these. I don't know if they are men's or women's. They, so I'm going to see if the buy sell trade wants them. I'm going to speed things up. Some of these items you have seen because I have shared them in hauls. This is Forever 21. This one is divided H&M, a little cropped graphic. Next up is, I've got two things, lots and lots of little t-shirts that hopefully will add up. This is a workout top and this is next level. This is a size large. I am folding things, guys. I am cutting the video and getting everything folded nicely. Uh, this one here is Under Armour. This is just a little workout tank that looks like this. <laughs> so we'll try that. That one looks a little small. This is Reebok, and it's uh, also a workout top with those like muscle uh, armholes. This is Fila, Fila Sport, and it's got this little detail on the side, Fila. The FedEx guy just showed up. This one is also Fila, a Racerback workout tank. This is a Nike, and it looks like this. We'll see. We'll see if they want this. Is this this is inside out? I will put that the right way. I remember. I think this one is an old style. It's they may not take that. Next up, I like this shirt. If they don't take this, maybe I'll sell it myself just because I think it's really cute. It's a size extra small today's, today's outfit. Maybe I'll make this my thumbnail. This is the Swing Tank. I am not familiar with this brand. I just, I like this novelty. So I will try that one. This one is Target. It is, I think it's a size medium, Target crop graphic. T. This is uh, Under Armour, another workout tank. Kind of looks cropped, but this one is a short sleeve pink Under Armour. This one is a sports bra, and the brand on this one is Adidas. Adidas looks like this. That's a good size, too. That one looks like it's about a size large. This one is, I don't know, R.A. Missy. Do you guys know who this is? I tried to look it up if I remember. I like the color on these, kind of a cool color green. They are a crop length and they do have a sheer panel on them. I hope that they want those. We'll see the next one. This is a cotton sports bra by Hollister. It's kind of small, strappy in the back. 
Next up is another workout top, and this one is, I don't know. It's, uh, is this Walmart, guys? I really don't know who that is. And the, I can't even tell the size because it is faded. There is a little cutout in the back. Hopefully they want it. This one is Madewell. Uh, they generally take all of my Madewell. This is just a little whisper tea and mustard, but it does have the pocket. I, yeah, it has a little flaw there. They sometimes will take flawed items with, you know, a little hole like that. You could still wear this, so we'll see if they want that one. Next up is a pair of shorts. These kind of feel like a golf short, a Bermuda golf short. Annika, Anika is the brand. This is a long sleeve, like tech shirt by Avia. I believe that is Walmart. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong guys. I don't sell it, so I don't know it. These are, who are you? Vol, V-U-L. Vol, can you see that? Vol, size large. In whose world are these a size large? But yeah, just a little pair. Of, they feel really nice. Vol. And this is a workout tank. This one is Champion 9 with a cutout in the back. Forever 21. This one is a size medium. Um, yeah, they don't take a lot of my Forever 21. This is also Forever 21, and this one is also a size medium. Let's see, we have some Nike Pro. They usually take my Nike Pro. Hopefully they will take these. These have a little pilling in the waistband, and I am not going to sweater shave them simply because I don't have a lot of time. These are Kirkland. I have never tried Kirkland with them, but I thought, what the hey, let's give it a try, see if they want them. Next up is Nike. These are Nike, they are a size large. These are just a cropped legging. Except this is from Kohl's, but it is new with tags and it's adorable. It's really cute. I believe, they call this a yoga bra because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of support to work out, but it's new with tags, it's adorable. I hope that they want that. This is a little Adidas. This is the Tech Fit sports bra in purple with a little neon trim. <laughs> this is a tube top that says enjoy Sprite. I hope they need that. Next up is Adidas. I think these are leggings. These are a cotton legging by the brand Adidas. They do have the spell out and a color blocking on one leg. Those are kind of nice but they're a smaller size and they accept all of my smaller sizes. Of course, style and brand dependent. These are Hollister, they're a size small, just a pair of running shorts. Probably would look good with that Hollister bra. This is Zella, which is Nordstrom and it just doesn't move very well for me, but this is a really nice Zella sports bra. They need that. They need that. These are all sports bras here. This one is Under Armour sports bra, and this one does zip in the front. Yeah, I think both of these are no-name sports bras, guys, and they're both in good shape, but there is no information on either one of them. Well, sometimes the Buy Sell Trade store will take them. If they are in the market for sports bras, if they need some, they might just take those two. I hope they don't just take one because... How will I put that on the screen? I'll have to figure that out. And this is a pair of Adidas workout shorts, running shorts. These are in pretty good condition too. I like these. We're almost done, guys. You can see I am clearing my rack. I just got all of these steamed. This is a dress by A New Day. This is Target. It's a size medium. This is an eyelet kind of uh, prairie cottage core dress. It does have pockets, it's just a small size. And I have not figured out what Target styles my buy, sell, trade store wants. I think this one is very cute. It's current. I'm gonna give it a try. This one is Charlotte Russe, and this is a halter maxi. And it's really cute. I just don't wanna sell it. It's a size medium, I believe. I hope that they want this dress. Okay, this one, if the buy, sell, trade doesn't want it, 
I will donate it. It's Shopo New of Tags. It just feels really cheap. Looks like this. It is a baby blue satin dress. It does have some ruching on the side. You can adjust that yourself. I don't even like that dress, so I'm going to see if they want it. This is from Kohl's. This is uh, super soft. I think this is a dress, but I don't know. It's by the brand Hot Kiss, and it looks like kind of a mini dress. I'm going to try that. Next up is uh, Forever 21, and this almost looks like a fall style. This is a ribbed knit dress by Forever 21 in a smaller size this is also forever 21 this one is new with tags and i yeah it's forever 21 it retailed for 17 dollars and 90 cents and it is a hunter green knit dress really super casual dress next up is rachel zoe this is a little uh tank top polyester tank top that ties on the side maybe they want that i like this a lot. I like the style of this cute little colorful top with the chiffon detail. Just a multi-print top. The brand is Anak by Kimmy. Never heard of it. I guess it is a um, boutique brand. This is, can you see that cut out there? The Nike swish, swoosh, chuck, Nike chuck. <laughs> uh, this is just a workout top. I think this one is also Forever 21, are you? Oh, and this one is Top Shop. This is just a little cropped, ribbed tank top in gray by Top Shop. I think this one is kind of unusual. That's why I hope that they want this. I think this one is new without tags. I'm not familiar with the brand. It's called Wishbone. And I couldn't find any information on it, but I think it's kind of funky and unusual and I hope that they want it. Next up is Adidas. This also feels like a golf type polo. This is a tech fabric though. Oh yeah, I don't think they'll take this. Let's see, let's see if they take this. This is just a little black, almost like a pep peplum style top, like the swing bottom on it, but it's not a, a structured peplum but that's just like a little casual black t-shirt top this is Walmart and it is new with tags Walmart no boundaries uh, lace tank top t-shirt really soft t-shirt in great condition billabong I left my heart in New York and then this one is this one new yeah this one is also new with tags it's Kohl's it retailed for $34. Wow, the brand is Candies. And this is what it looks like, a little peplum style top with some chevron print detail. These last few items are still on hangers because I want to take a little extra care when folding them. This is really an unusual piece. It's by Shine Star. That is a brand that is sold TJ Maxx, Marshalls, etc. But you can see there, that is an open sleeve. Can you see a long sleeve, uh, open long sleeve bodysuit? And then, I mean, this girl is confident that is going to wear this nude color, blush colored bodysuit. I, I hope they want it. I wanna take a little care with folding that one because it does wrinkle so badly and I have a few button-up shirts. This one, I don't even remember who this is. Perry Ellis. I don't think that's a great brand. But if I remember correctly, I think that my friend said that they accept this brand. This is a, it's almost like a seersucker navy blue button front top. Next up is Mark Anthony size extra large white button front with the flap chest pockets. This one, extra large, that is men's. And the final one is, who are you? H&M, who knows? Let's see if they'll take this H&M button front gray long sleeve shirt. That's it, that is two big Ikea bags packed 
full of clothing that I do not want to sell myself and fingers crossed the buy sell trade store will give me some trade in credit. Stick around. I will come back to end this video, let you know what my total numbers are. And I will also share any items that I pick up at the buy sell trade store because I do stay in store while they are checking out my items and I'm always looking for a deal. So I will be back in one second for you. And it's a couple days later but as promised, I am here to share the numbers. I ended up taking 86 items to the buy sell trade store. So if you are still here, you just watched me share 86 pieces. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. The buy sell trade took 44 pieces. I am feeling so very good about that, guys. And they did end up taking a lot of the pieces that I had tried previously about two weeks earlier. So that really worked out. I have heard that different buyers will buy buy different things. And I actually went at a different time of day. Normally I go pretty early in the day and this trip was later in the day. So maybe that had something to do with it. I think I will plan my next trip a little bit later in the day because I feel like I was pretty successful in moving 44 pieces of inventory. I took $137.50 in trade for those 44 items. I could have taken $100 ten dollars in cash but while I was there I did go through the store just a little bit I did have my mother with me um she doesn't care much for shopping for clothes so uh, we shopped for a little bit and we picked up a few items and I'll share with you quickly what I traded for I, I want to share a couple pieces guys that I traded a couple weeks ago. This was not from this most recent trip. A couple weeks ago, I took 30 items, they accepted 10 items, and I received $33 in store credit, and I did pick up this Johnny Was piece. This is a silk and linen jacket. You guys, the buttons on this jacket. Let me get in close so you can see. They are wooden buttons and they are a little bit overexposed, but this is what the back of the jacket looks like. It is all embroidered. It is so very pretty, and I do believe that it is new without tags, but uh, yeah, I was real excited to get that. And then I picked up this piece. This is a cotton dress by the brand Lily Pulitzer. It is a size eight, so I do like that size. It does have, does it have pockets? I thought it had pockets. It does not have pockets. It does have a side zip closure. When I went to photograph this dress, I did discover that it has a flaw. I told you that the buy sell trade store sometimes accepts flawed clothing, or maybe uh, this was damaged when someone was trying it on, but there is a teeny tiny rip in the fabric right there. So that's a bummer. Now I am going to mend that and I will try to sell the dress with that disclosure. Yeah, I got those a couple weeks ago. Now here is what I traded for this time. I got this for me. This is Young, Fabulous, and Broke. It's extremely soft tie-dye, kind of a, just a lounge sweatshirt with the dolman sleeves. This one is an extra small. I did try it on. I thought if it doesn't fit, I will sell it, but it does fit. It is very, very oversized, and I just love the way it feels. So this is for me. Next stop, I found these jeans. These jeans were $9.99, and they are Meguiar. They are a size 26, I believe. Yes, 26, but look at them, and I wish I could tell you what the name of these is. It's a, I want to say majorette or majorelle. These are a white high-rise denim with this kind of uh, boho fringy design on the bottom of them. So I wanted to try out McGuire. I have never sold it before. I found some Johnny Was. This store had a lot of Johnny Was. I was particular with it because these were $19.99 a piece, um, but I did get a few different sizes. This one is rayon. It is not silk. The silk pieces do the best, I believe. This one is also a size extra small, if you can see it right there. So beautiful. 
really, really pretty piece. It is very sheer and there is embroidery detail down the arm. So it was so pretty, I had to rescue it. Bring it home. And next up is Johnny Was. This one is a size small. Size, guys, I think I could wear this one. It is really uh, generously sized. This is the tag, Johnny Was. And it also has a button back detail. So yeah, this is a cotton top with all of that embroidery detail. Next up, these next two pieces are very similar. This is Johnny Was Workshop. This is a size medium. Again, very oversized. I do believe that this would fit me. This is a plaid fabric, and if I get in close, you might be able to see there's a teeny tiny bit. It's very subtle, silver threading in the plaid, but heavily embroidered, lightweight, and almost a shark bite hem. Just a very, very slight shark bite, and there is a slit on the side. And this is the last Johnny Was piece that I decided to bring home. This one is a size large. Again, I think it's the same size as the size medium. This one is a purple plaid. This one does not have any metallic in it. It is cotton, looks like this. Uh, I like adding Johnny Was to my stores because it does bring traffic and attention to my entire store. So I was real happy to find that. And then this is the last piece that I brought home to sell. This is Wilfred, and this one is a size 8. And this is an unstructured jacket, blazer, almost like a cardigan. And this is not a full sleeve. It will be a long three-quarter sleeve. This is in a gray color, and I love the pocket construction. I have a jacket that is or a blazer cardigan that is built exactly like this. It is so flattering. I love this jacket. So when I found it by Wilfred, I was like, yes, I will take it. But that is it, guys. That is how the buy sell trade went. I am very, very pleased because I am much more excited to list the items that I traded for than I was the 86 items that I tried to sell to them. So it was a good day. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are still here and you are not yet subscribed. It's time to subscribe. I will see you very soon with the next video. Blessings to all of you.